And welcome back here to our blind first playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. Straight to the war table. Let's get some things cleaned up here. I would have been merciful with the mayor. He made a difficult decision. That's because you wouldn't have had family in his way. I might have had family in the Blight's way. We all did. Hard to remember that. Far too hard. Hell yeah. All right, yeah, I, I think the mayor needed a little bit of forgiveness. Also, I'm glad that we're hearing other people kind of feel the same, although it's it's completely a debatable situation with what punishment or is he punishing himself? Who knows? Uh, why didn't he come up and just tell people out front later and just own up to it because he didn't want to get lynched probably and die? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. We want to figure out what is what the hell was going on with this big old this pig thing. Or the big one, there we go, perfect. The big one, Inquisitor, Inquisitor, our people have flushed out something, something big and stubborn. You were seeking a mount that spoke to the tenacity of the Inquisition, and this, frankly, I'm not sure what this says, but it's definitely a mount. And it definitely is definitely tenacious. I'm not sure what to say except that the stables now have a new resident, and to echo the report from our people, that is one big nug. Okay, well, we have to go, obviously, go switch out our nugs, so. And for a price, a formal document with impeccable filigree. Ooh. All right, so we are saddled up. Sounds good. Now, uh, power for a price. The Inquisition is a sight to behold, a commander of legions, hearts, and minds. It is worthy, your Inquisitor is worthy, and my masters are pleased. I will bring my wares, and together we will extend your reach ever further. Now you trade not just in treasures, but in will. The esteemed Ferris, the representative. Well, thank you. And do we have any others turned in? I don't think we do. Maybe over on this side? Yes. Rescue the spy. Miller is free and little worse for wear. Best of all, my, by escaping on her own, Miller preserved the secret of her connection to the Inquisition. Her adventure has given her quite the motivation to prove herself. If she learns from it, I feel her future work will be exceptional. Leliana knew how to handle it. Good for you. Okay, what do we got over here? Completed, completed, completed. Available, truth or dare, Lake Celestine. A page from Travels of Chantry Scholar lies on the table. The passage is circled. The region between Lake Celestine and the shores of the Waking Sea is known as the Heartlands, a place of vineyards and gilded marble estates the locals refer to as cottages. It is often said that Orle, Orle's heart is plated with gold, and so it seems fitting that the Heartlands are perhaps the richest place outside of Val Royo. A note is written at the bottom of the page. Comte de Maurier and Marquis Courtmonts, both spending money like water, which to pursue. Uh, so Comte de Maurier is a distant relation of the Empress. We should speak with him first. Or Leliana says we have agents in place near uh, Court de Mons now. We can infiltrate his manor at a moment's notice. And then Cullen. Is there a time difference? I'm going with Josephine. She seems to know what's up. At your service. Thank you. And completed, completed. What is... Oh, Emerald Graves Resources. Now we can do that... We're not doing that yet. We're heading back to Emerald Graves. Emerald Graves, but we don't need the resources. What is up here? Um, protect the Inquisition's reputation. Yes, let's try that. Oh, but I feel like... Do... Okay, who we read this one, but Ban Dorner has feuded with the Starkhaven's royal family before. If we start rumors that he intends to begin again, he will be too busy managing that affair to poison ours. Uh, or Josephine, if we have to wait for her, wants to... Van Dorner sells his harvest to Antiva. If his taxes were mysteriously inflated, he'd have something to worry about besides us. And then Cullen says, These villains never stop. I say we let them talk themselves to death. I'm going Leliana. Inquisitor. Might as well. And Shadow over Denerim. Though, I don't know... Um, Cullen would send forces to aid in a manhunt... Uh, Leliana knows exactly who she wants to send. Before I read it all, we're just going to wait on that one. Um, Interland and resources? Let's just send our boy here. Go get what? some resources while we're out playing around. Alright, so we're out. What I want to do 
is probably sell a couple things, but I don't think we have to do it here. I believe we can jump right back to the Emerald Graves. Oh, this is so, so beautiful. We have our hill camp, but we've made it now to Watcher's Reach. Let's go there. Now, who are we taking with us? Um, Darn it. There's going to be some interesting stuff going on. I want a completely different crew, though. So we're going to go Dorian, um, Cole, and Blackwall is not as interesting to me. I want Cassandra. Let's have her hanging out with us. That'll be cool. All right. So we have a bunch to do, but I think I just have a few too many items sitting on me that I don't need. Um, let's hit the table and take care of that. Okay, I'm satisfied. You always be welcome here. Thank you. All right. Now, the real question is, we have a couple different ways to go out of here. We can go straight out this way. Um, and then we're heading up to all this other noble deeds, noble heart, all these proof of this guy's nobility. There's another camp over there. Um, guess what? I don't want to do that. I want to head straight back to wrap around through this Viridium mine. So that's how we're going to do it. Because I think... Either that's a dead end or it wraps around from that corner. So um, I'm going to cruise through and we're just going to meet you back there minus any uh, good fights or conversation that we run into. All right, so we're working our way back, uh, not to that spot, but I just figured I made sure I selected my war nug here. We're hit. <laughs> Look at this damn thing. Now, I did notice that there is something new in the codex for it too. So let's just go here real quick. And it's going to be in our horses. But at the bottom here is the Greater Mountain Nuggalope or Death Nug. It has hands. It handles things. That's hitting me worse than anything else. What the ever-loving spit? Can't argue the impressive stature of the thing. And it's stubborn like the most entitled charger. It knows how strong it is and it knows you know. I expected the dull snuffling of its small cousins. But this... It has hands and spirited eyes. Mind where you secure the buckles of your saddle. I expect it'll let you know when it tires uh, of suffering you on its back. Not that it tires hands. Hands. So if let's see if we can see the front of it here. It's like got hands. That's crazy. Love it. Okay. Well, let's cruise. I thought it was uh, cool. I, I realized that... Um, we had picked up the Nug, but we hadn't looked at it. Now, this looks like the Avar a War Nug, you know, a version of it, but um, I don't know. It's it's unique. I'm glad we got it. I don't care. I think it's yeah. amazing. And here we go. Let's get off. Oh, you're, you're a good girl. All right, guys. Somehow, they could all ride on it with us, actually, couldn't they? All right, now we're heading in. We've already cleared out the Viridium Mine. I just want to come up double check the map up through this way if you can dig it and is, are there any people left to kill yes let's do it guys oh thank you for hitting us let's electrocute them all <laughs> now I'll give ourselves oh there we go there's a lot going on oh I'm watching Cole there I have Cole with some amazing weapons on there I think Goodbye, indeed. Let's grab what we can. Yeah, Cole, I don't know that he needs to be in the, the armor the way he is, but it's the best thing he can be wearing, so I have him wearing it, as with all of them. Um, maybe eventually we'll pay as much attention to their look as I pay attention to my own. Embryum. Now, what do we got here? A letter home, my dearest Aline, have you had news of the war? They say it will take 
over all of Orlay. People say the mine's about to be shut down. No one wants to be caught in the middle of the fighting. I had a good thing here, good coin. And a year or two, I might have made enough to go home and marry. Now this war, war's come along and ruined everything. I'll stay as long as I can. Don't wait for me. Leave as soon as you can. Perhaps in a city like Montsamar, there will be guards and the militias keeping the peace. Your brother, Jean or Jean? Oh, don't fall down. What is this? Can't walk across that. No, 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 no. Can we? This is weird. Maybe we can come back another way? I gotta try. Can we inch our way? Can we walk so slowly? Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Don't peck at my feet, birds. How about that? Oh, yeah. What do we get? Better be worth it. Not really. A seer cowl, maybe. Might be worth it. But we're not wearing hats, so it doesn't matter what we really look like. Um, Let's go, assuming... Oh, you know what? Oh, yes. We're back. Good. Just take it. And we're all back. Good. Losers. Yeah, I think that is the end of that area. There we are. Gotta remember those little tricks, right? Let's uh, burn a bunch of them, too. Now we're going to get up in it. Now we're going to get us all going. Now you, sir. Chill out, fool. Oh, it was blocked. Let's uh, burn him. I don't want to go too far. I think we're going to have stuff over here to loot. Oh, there are more coming? Peacewood. I guess let's just kill them all. There. Got us. Peacewood. Oh, look at this big old chateau or something. I'm seeing through the trees a little bit. Alright, did somebody go off a level? We'll see here in a minute. Very good, thank you. Thank you all for being amazing. Great work. Our friends are alive because of you. I've got your back. Oh yeah, oh okay. cool dude. Well we appreciate you then. Guess we helped some guy out. Let's... What are we doing here? Before the dawn, let's get the smuggler's letter. Man, we got a lot going on. I love it. All types of stuff. We'll have to back right up. Clean up. I love it. These regions are huge. Oh, it's going to be in this area, huh? Oh, well. Andres, Andraste's mercy. Elves were guilty of the greatest sin of turning from the Maker. But we will show them mercy, for that is what Andraste teaches, from a sermon given by Sister Amity at the conclusion of the exalted March of the Dales. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They turned their face in the Maker. They deserved everything they got. Stupid elves. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I didn't get myself hooked up. There we go. Oh, yeah. Coal's in there just destroying it. Lustrous cotton. What is this, then? Is this it? Before the dawn. Yeah, smuggler letter. Monthly report. A Master Kells. 
Numbers are fantastic, sir. Trade's booming with all the lyrium showing up. Maybe it's red instead of blue, but people are still buying. The mage we picked up can look into what the color means. He needs to start earning his keep. Which mage did they keep pick up? Uh, we have more coin on hand, too. No need to pay off some greasy dwarf since the red stuff isn't from the deep roads. Must be killing them. Someone struck lyrium up here, and they're not getting a piece. Vishlan. Note. It claims this red lyrium is not coming from the deep roads. Yeah, there's red lyrium all over the place that's popping out, right? Okay, well, I have to come back. We have to do a little uh, scope in here. Oh, and I'm so glad we did. Oh, what am I hitting? I don't want to hit that nug. Make it take you. There. Give him the shatter. Very good. Now... Oh, we're finding things. We're doing it, guys. What is this? Parsons' battered notebook. Beyond... Andraste's mercy, a hundred steps to revelation. I don't know what it means. Is it allegory? I don't even know where father got this. Mess of rambling. He spent his whole life figuring out that it pointed to objects in the emerald graves, and now I have to finish this job. Or finish the job. This is going to kill me. Why would his dying wish be that I figure it out? What sort of father asks that of a sudden? Son. Here. One. Here is my soul trapped in a cage of bone. Two. Here is my past forgotten in the bleak winds. Three, arching above outstretched wings, even stone can rise. Four, but the sky is a cruel mistress, and once for my life. Five, a goblet of my blood on a table of ashes, where can I stand? Six, turn around, face the shadows, do not blink. Seven, hulls of whispers carry secrets even the moon does not know. Eight, roses and daisies for her love, where he stands, no one can fall. Nine, dragon slayers... Four at the northwest, two from the northeast, three from the southeast. Ten. They begged mercy from the woman crowned with grace and stars. Eleven. Cannons at her head, mountains at her feet, she is mother of the faith. Of faith. Twelve. Beyond Andraste's mercy, a hundred steps to revelation. Thirteen. Cradle the cat on a sling of silk and say, never will the dove call more. Fourteen. What is this? An upward pointing finger... Where there your heart lies. 5. The spear pieces the eye of the tiger, and the prey is hunted. 16. Blades of grass beneath my feet, I walk the path of the flame. 17. Beneath the stones of sacrifice, find the truth. 18. On the back of the wind. 19. In the palm of fortune, and 20. At the first breath of size. Which one to ignore, which one to keep? 12. I know the twelfth is important. which is beyond Andraste's mercy, a hundred steps to revelation. Is that going to be a certain place? A new location marked for us? I don't know. There's the, oh, we do have all three of the smugglers letters here for the before the dawn. What are these red lyriums? A, a vicious thug. Oh, okay. I thought a vicious nug. Wasn't making as much sense. All right, well, I think we're going to want that. What the hell? That was awesome. But where is this all going? Oh, that's... Oh, I see. Exactly where we're at. Nowhere. Nowhere. Well, I'm definitely finding a few little mysteries, I think. Happy about that. There's, oh, there's just so much going on. We're heading on up this way. That's the person we kind of rescued, I think. Animals everywhere. Right, and here's the water. Where all are we going? Silver Falls. Oh, a body, I see. Mother. Motherly encouragement. Investigate the fatal fall. 
From where up there? Motherly encouragement. Yeah, it's doing... Okay, well, let's go to this rift at the cove. We got this. Let's go, guys. How tough? This is going to be a tough one. Can we get it? Oh, thank you. And... Oh, I got this thing in my way. Good. Son of a bitch. Let's uh, put this in. Let's put one of these down. Where? Here. And let's disrupt. Stun everybody. Kill that fool. What do we got? Um, okay, and... Is it this one? I don't know which ones are real and which aren't. There we go. The spell. Take your potion, fool. I can't be hitting him with fire. Let's kill whatever ones we can. Let's uh, give ourselves some shields here. Is it coming for me? Oh, it is. Is this one right next to me? I don't know what keeps hitting me. It's probably something right outside my vision. We're all looking pretty good. I love it. Good germs. One of two for the rifts at the cove. What do we got here? Silver Falls. No elven treasure was hidden beneath the falls. That ridiculous tale lost me six soldiers. If I find the man who started the rumor, I'll kill him myself. From the Journal of Captain Marsane, dated 220 Glory. Okay, well, we just leveled up. And if we're going to do something fun, short of respecking, let's see what we got here. What is resurgence? Um, uh, Bade cloak, I guess. Surround yourself with the magic of the veil itself. You're briefly invulnerable and can pass through enemies unharmed. Baited shield. You draw back the energy released by your enemies in your attacks against them. Any successful attack strengthens your barrier. The more damage you do, the more powerful your barrier grows. A barrier provides an additional health bar that must be destroyed before the target will take any damage. I think we have to do that before we do anything else, don't we? we gotta see what that's about. Anybody else? No, not yet. Let's go. Good times, everybody. Um, Are we on the edge of the map here still? Uh, we're just kind of... No, we are. Let's do the motherly encouragement and catch this camp here, right? And do we need a specific candle, or can we get a candle? Can we go through the caves to get there? Do we have to come up and around? All types of stuff. Perhaps we should search about a bit. Perhaps. We should get out of the water. Reminds me of the public baths in Menrathus, but colder. Okay, sir. Bottle, bottles of Thedas. 13 of 29 found so far. Sun Blonde Vint 1. Uh, to Vinter brewed for a very discreet clientele and strong enough to fluster a tranquil. An almost weightless spirit best served with a powdering of cat's bane as a flavor enhancer and antidote. And antidote. Okay. Oh, there's something here. What is Everite? Acquired Everite. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Everite seems new. But it's not giving us a codex entry. So, whatever's going on up there, we're going to have to come around for. 
But how would we... It's probably all the way up and around, right? We can't be parkouring it up there. Nope. Um, let's get to this here. What do we have over here? Emerald Graves. All this stuff, man. A lot to do. But we'll be able to come out of here, the Watcher's Reach, and I think jump up. So let's go get this camp. Then maybe we run backwards and kind of work our way back to this spot. I could be wrong. Riatho's Steps. Silver Falls, yes. Silver Falls. I see that's some place we're going to have to go to confront some people, I'm sure. That looked like a little cave. But we'll take the Bloodstone at least. I think we're due for some banter here, too. Come on, parkour dudes. Dire Stone. That place is beautiful. We're working to it. Will this work me up? They've let me get up stuff like this before. Oh, do I see an Astrarium? Mm-hmm. I feel like... If I can't get up this way, we just keep wrapping around. Of course, then the camp will be like our access up, so we can fast travel and not have to go through all this again. Love it. What do you say? A place to set up camp, perhaps. Uh, uh perhaps. Two of four. Supplies replenished. Everything looking nice here. Any reading? Nope, I'm feeling good. Um, You know what? Inquisitor. I'm happy with the people we have so far on this uh, playthrough. Or on this round, as it were. Let's... I think head up here. Oh my god. It has to be back and around, motherly encouragement. There's a bunch of stuff to do here, but, you know, the last thing we did, last time I didn't go further and do things in order, it felt like we might want things to go in order here. So I'm going to head back directly to the Watcher's Reach and head up and kind of scope. I'm going to keep jumping around a little bit. I so. must admit, Cassandra, I've never heard of these Seekers of Truth. Why would you? They do not exist in Tevinta. But what are they? Some manner of super Templar? Is this one of those sudden secrets like proper hygiene? Once we worked from the shadows, monitoring Templars and mages alike. Ah, that clearly worked out well. Your glibness does you no credit. The mage rebellion was beyond even our power to control. Hey, yeah, you shut him down. You tell him what's up. I like their conversation, though. Sometimes it would be easier if I'd been killed when our farm was attacked. Oh, okay. That's what you had to say. All right, dude. Okay. Make a so, watch over you. left or right? I think we want to go left. Yes, that's exactly. Let's follow this ridge and see what happens. It's fun. It's good times. Now, is this... Oh, Villa Morel. Now, there's a few... There's more than one uh, villa, looks like. Let's go find out what's going on with this. This is a mission. We have Noble Deeds, Noble Heart. Clara heard a rumor, so we're going to find proof here. But And Red Lyrium. I suppose let's let's work our way up that way. I'm looking for whoever's the asshole. There's some jerk or something somewhere. And that's probably these... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can only imagine it's in there. Bloodstone? 
Am I recognizing it? Yes, starting to get it. The pla this this is one of the prettiest. Uh, pla oh, there's another villa. They're all over the places. Were they calling them cottages? Did they say? Oh, now we're good. Red lyrium S smash. We don't have him with us, but uh, he slightly approves even when he's not with us, so that's cool. I wouldn't say we need to have him with us just because it's Red Lyrium. Oh, how do we, how do we get in here though? We have to come in from the top. Is there a door? Oh, there. I'm like what the hell? <laughs> there you are, sir. Open it. Now, what we do with this proof, I'm not completely sure yet. I want to find out what the actual story is here. Reinforced Enchanter Mail. That might be good for one of our boys. More booze? Or a midwife's journal. This time-worn diary was found amongst more valuable items. It is bound in leather and has a solid silver trim, which might be why it was saved. A few entries can still be made out. 16 herring. Ninth age? 8. Uh, this has been the coldest winter I can remember. Even the river is frozen. No one should be out there, not in this blizzard. So you can imagine my surprise when there was a knock on my gate. A young woman. She's looking for the Fairbanks cottage. I go out. I say to her, nothing fair about this weather, but yes, you're at the right place. She throws back her cloak and I see she is heavy, less than two weeks away. Please help. She is almost in tears. I bring her into the house and I sit her by the fire with some tea and slippers. She is young, not more than 20. Her hands are smooth. They have not seen a day of work in her life. Her clothes are travel stained, but fine. The cloak must be worn at least, be worth at least 50 royals. Are they calling them royals, sovereigns, or, or a different currency for different places? Beautiful blue trimmed with fox fur. Her name is Bernice, but she won't say more. Many girls come here not wanting to say who they are. I understand. Wait, and but this is at the place. Okay. Uh, 25 herring. Bernice has had the baby, a boy, healthy, full of hair. She named him Evariste. She tried to pay me with a heavy gold locket, a falcon on its face. I asked her what it was. It looks valuable. She said... It's her father's and she doesn't care to have it anymore. I tell her she might not, she, she might not, but her son might one day want to know where he's from. Uh, one, winter march, a new year. Bernice should be healthy enough to leave, but it is still cold and I just cannot turn her out. I will ask her to stay and be my assistant. I've needed help for a while. My fingers are not as nimble as they used to be. Clever girl. She will make a fine apprentice. So I need to hear the rest of some of that, I feel like. To get more context, uh, take all Orlesian bat. Oh, that's not bad. It, it's their leveling up. We just have to see. It's all common stuff. Oh, do Hame. So this is the jerk, right? This is, I think, the one who's really a bad guy as opposed to the sister who we killed, I think. I don't know. Uh, the shipments are prepared. And once again, the rats from Watcher's Reach are getting in my way. One woman got far enough into my camp to look into the crates. Scrounging for food, no doubt. Sneaky little peasants, perhaps traps next time. So as much as they're saying that, um, so can we just do both? Fun. Uh, that these people are evil and killing everybody. They also seem to have people showing up and robbing their asses. So we have a cave. Let's go. Um, a vicious thug. And we have to deal with the commander Duhame and more proof. Another camp. Oh, this is brilliant. Because after this, after we hit this one, um, maybe we'll come up. We'll start playing around over here at this other camp. This place is big, but big in the right way. My opinion. That was our... Just come on through. Uh, Villa Morale Key required. Okay. 
Can we walk around the behind? The back? We cannot. Let's move forward and smash whoever we need to smash. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's take that one out. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm trying to uh, electrocute. Oh, lady. Oh, 579 on that. Dead. Dead. She proclaims. Oh, do not let them interfere with Malifant's plane. Or plans. What? Let's go, guys. I see a bigger dude over here coming. Oh, you too? I'm gonna deal with this one back here. There we go. Let's, uh... What do we got here? Let's roast whoever's... Let's... Oh! Um... Let's do this. Let's hit him. Oh, look at that. How many... It doesn't take as much out, but we're just destroying him. And let's... Let's hook all of this up. Stand in his face. They won't be able to hurt anyone again. On my shield coming back kind of thing. That's awesome. Quest completed a vicious thug. So that dude's toast. Glittering Darmalin and the Villa Morale Key. Thank you, thank you. And the Betrayer, even Mafrath the Betrayer had a part to play. Who are we to say elves do not? Right. From a sermon given by Sister Amity at the conclusion of the Exalt. Oh, well, it's trying to say we don't need to wipe the elves out completely. We just need to subjugate them, assimilate them, take away their homelands. you know, Or kick them out of even the Dales, because they were already... The Dales, what, their new homeland, in a way? You know? Oh. Oh, what do we find? Come on. An old painting? Oh, is this the proof? Okay. An old painting in a carved wooden frame. Paint has rubbed off in some places, carved into the back of the frame. Lord Gros Lamarck. Portrait shows the Lord as he must looked over 40 years ago. He bears a striking resemblance to Fairbanks. Got it. Uh, Duhame's notes. Auguste has made progress in the exalted plains, where we'll be heading. We are together in this, but Maker's Breath... How that irks me. That weapon, or whatever secret is hidden in those glyphs, is mine by rights. Maliphants trust me more, most. Bah, he won't have it. Not while I live. Alright, so... Where to from here, then? Just grab a couple... Oh, another book, maybe? Harden Hightown, Chapter 9. So once again, I'll just keep saying, we're going to wait until we get all the Harden Hightowns, and then we're going to read them at one time. So I'll go check in next. There's probably, what, like 10 of them? We'll see. Maybe more. I just, uh, I feel like we need to have a good time and a good session with that. When I'm jumping around and I'm, I'm reading chapter 3 and then, or 4, then 3, then 9, then, you know, it's just, it's not a good thing. There we go. I knew I was missing something in here. I, uh, ooh, superior enchanter mail. Hold on. Uh, through the magic of editing, I just had to have uh, somebody come take a look at our heat. So, uh, what's the difference? There is nothing. No difference whatsoever. Um, so in that case, we should put it on, right? Okay. There's only a couple more, so very good. Now, we're trying, where are we here? We're working our way back to this other villa. 
But there is a camp. Can we not get there from here? This is so crazy. Or do we have to go through the villa? Oh man, there's just so much going on. I love it. But I think I want to get that camp open. And yes, we're going to have to go through. I love it. Just to double check over here. Make sure they're not hiding something on us. Sneaky bastards. I think this is beautiful, though. The artwork, as always. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that the Empress? Or must be, or somebody... It Kind of look like Meredith. I'm not sure, but we're heading this way. And then um, I will remember to go back where we were. I'm kind of jumping around here, but. Are we seeing someone here? Oh, the okay. Freeman's leader should be holed up here. This place has seen better days. These men are thugs. What do you expect? Are they? And once again, now we're in the, in a house. Let's uh, keep looking. And this is somebody, Haim. Enhanced Ring of Life train. I haven't heard anything from the plane. Have you? No, nothing recent anyway. Real quick, too, by the way, I saw that Masterwork Heater Shield. That's going to go in weapons for Cassandra. Oh, man, look at that. But where is the Heater Shield? Masterwork Heater Shield. I'll take it. Let's go. All right, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. Get us all up to, to snuff here. And what do we got? Pages from Lord Morell's journal. The journal of one of the villa's former owners. The current occupants tossed it aside. Artem is the very soul of discretion. I could have a Templar to dinner and they would be none the wiser. None of the wiser. None of wiser. Come on. If the Templars hadn't gone off to do maker knows what, I might try it. Uh, Valerie complains, but the Empress herself ha has such an advisor. Why not me? His services are useful, and no one could better ensure our security no matter. The distractions of the city will ease her mind soon enough. Oh man. Just like, it's hard enough sometimes reading. <laughs> Without people having to write and miss things and... And I have to question it while I'm sitting here going over it. Like, wait, what am I reading? Oh, I say we work our way around. We should search the area. Oh, we are going to search the area. The artwork. Non-stop. Sexuality in Thedas. Ooh. What I find most interesting is that despite the lack of open discussion on matters of human sexuality... There is commonality to be found on the subject in all Andrastian lands. Typically, one's sexual habits are considered natural and separate from matters of procreation, and only among the nobility, where procreation involves issues of inheritance and the union of powerful families, is it considered of vital importance. Yet even there, a noble who has done their duty to the family might be allowed to pursue their own sexual interests without raising eyebrows. The view on indulging lusts with a member of the same gender varies from land to land. In Orlea, it is considered a quirk of character and nothing more. In Ferelden, it is a matter of scandal if done indiscreetly, but otherwise nothing noteworthy. In Teventer, it is considered selfish and deviant behavior among nobles, but actively encouraged with favored slaves. Oh, Rome, totally. Nowhere is it forbidden, and sex of any kind is only considered worthy of judgment when taken to awful excess or performed in the public eye. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, the travels of a Chantry scholar by Brother Jenna TV, getting all the sexuality going. Yes, so, oh, people aren't prudes, and you can basically do what you want. Got it. 
Sounds good. Um, our stamina amulet. Another schematic. Oh, I haven't even looked what's going on with the roof. The ceiling, as it were, not the roof. Beautiful. It's a beautiful tour. Yeah, there's people to kill in the courtyard. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. More reading first. Lady Amorel's diary. The diary of one of the villa's former owners. The current occupants tossed it aside roughly, or roughly aside. All this fuss over Gaspard, Gaspard, and Celine. The talk was amusing enough. Now we hear of conflicts between the Imperial Army and the soldiers supporting the Usurper. The thought of them coming here is frightful. Mother is right. Most Our most fashionable acquaintances will summer in the city. We should do the same. Raymond is stubborn, of course. All his little tricks and trinkets are here. I indulge his eccentricities, mostly to annoy Mother, but we cannot have everything sent to Valroyo on such short notice. He does insist we keep Artem on. He refuses to do without the man's services. I suppose he views Artem as another piece of his collection. Still, such devotion to a servant. Or is it not? Yeah, is there more than devotion going on? Is that what we're implying? We're trying to find out all their love lives through the stories. I just... Oh, just so neat. I'm just going to keep talking about the art all the time through the game. Can we pull these drapes off? Uh, Staff of Flares. Always art, just throwing a sign uh, aside everywhere. Orlesian Army Battle Mage Armor and uh, Ring of Armor Penetration. Very good. Let's just double check, make sure that that armor isn't better for us. One of these times, that reinforced Channer's Mail is good. And the Seer Cowl we can't put on, huh? Oh, level 15 requirement. Okay. And, ooh. People everywhere. Alright, let's go fight some. Oh my, yeah, isn't that? Okay, 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 I want... Get all of us. All of us. How about him gone? How about him gone? I'm I'm seeing my charges now, right? Come on, we're right with we just go with Cassandra everywhere. Just walk through everything with her. And then get in it. And then I need to get a shield going. You know what? Um And let's get them burning. Oh, they're just done. Somebody else still here? Oh, yeah, here. Good stuff. Oh, are more coming? Because we you're all toast. That seems to be the last of them. I'm guessing that was the man in charge. We struck a blow against the free men. They chose the wrong friends. That's loud as hell, too. I love it though. Take it, guys. What'd we get? Yeah, I was thinking that was the boss too. A witch fire staff. Gotta check it out. Um It's a 66. Staff of Flares is a 68. Nothing wrong with that for these other folks. And I'm going to make sure uh, it has been noted. I probably want to keep... Oh, there's some orders. Oh, scribbled notes. When Samson, Samson, the junkie from Kirkwall, right, made this deal, we promised you the Dales. If you could hold them up and keep the roads open for our supplies, too difficult a concept to grasp, I see. Enough of your fumbling. The Red Templars will deal with the Inquisition. Knight Captain Carroll. Ooh. 
Well, let's uh, loot the hell out of some stuff. Oh, sunflowers. So pretty. Yeah, let's pick up all our loot. And thank you. We killed a lot of people here, though. That was a big fight. Red Templar orders a letter bearing the Templar seal. Have a chat with Maliphant. Make sure everything's running smoothly. While there, see if any of his men might wish to volunteer their services to Empress du Lyon. We could always use a few more. Be discreet. Maliphant's still useful. I doubt he'd remain so if he thinks we're stealing his soldiers. Red Templars? Why not? Seems we interrupted their meeting with the Templars. They wanted something. It's still here. Hey, thank you. Let's keep looking around then. Is it Embryum? It was not Embryum. Alright, well, we still have... Did we come in the front right here? Yep. The front foyer. Or foyer for the, the more high-minded. The dining hall. Oh, another beautiful artwork everywhere. Okay, what are we reading? Maliphant's journals. Maliphant kept several journals. This one spans the time Maliphant spent as a sergeant in the Imperial Army. I see Lorentz's death in my mind all the time. The man who killed her, one of the usurper's soldiers, was familiar. I wouldn't be surprised if I once shared a drink with him. Isn't that how it is now? Brother against brother? The priests tell me to remember Lorentz's life, not her death. So I try to recall years past. The countless times she saved me. The day we first met when I was a young recruit who almost pissed himself at her barked orders. Because of her, I learned discipline and control. She instilled in me pride in what we did. She taught me how to use a sword. More importantly, she taught me how to keep it sheathed. She was fearless, strong, regal, and she was cut down like a common peasant by someone we may have once known. Will anyone remember her? Will Celine? Some pages later. Oh, so we're going to skip ahead. Good. There's a new soldier in our battalion, Gordian. He's an odd fellow with an accent I can't place. He like he'd spent time in the marches. It doesn't matter in the end. He's been a comfort, listening to me talk about those who died. He also lost friends in Celine's war, and he's tired, like we are. He said a very wise thing. There is no war without soldiers. The Empress can't wage her war if we refuse to fight. Orlais should belong to Orlesians. And that's why we have so many, like, deserters and all this stuff. Yep, it's the poor who go to war. Or the rich. A witch lightning staff. Prophet's laurel. We need Philendris, I believe. Is on my mind for one. Oh, now we're here. Grabbing our rash vine. I love the kitchens, I love the food. Some nug skin. Which I'll be happily take because at least we didn't have to kill the Nug for it, so. How are we doing on inventory for a moment? 49 of 75. We still have time to do some looting. We will have to head back and uh, hit the war room at some point here, too. Oh, there we go. Is that what we're looking for? Reinforced scout armor. Ooh. What is that? Part key fragments. Key. There's a rune inscribed on it. Or part of one. Okay. So much going on. Hey, we can we take a couple barrels here? Take it back with us? We ask people, what do you guys think? So that's a key fragment. Am I going to find the rest here or spread throughout the entire place? We will find out. And there's this is a very empty place in a lot of ways. What do we find here? A servant's letter. 
a neatly penned note addressed to the villa's former owner. My lord, everything is in order for your departure. I've granted leave to all non-essential staff and arranged transportation for the time you requested. I've taken the liberty of securing the more valuable items in your personal storeroom. I trust you will find everything to your satisfaction. Artem. Yes. I'll check the map here in a minute. See if we're missing anything obvious. Because it says we're there's something here we're supposed to find, right? Here's the dining hall. Let's check the map here. Ooh, there we go. Safekeeping key fragments, sure. Is there not... There's only one floor. And what's this? Safekeeping key fragments? Oh, we're getting there. Okay, okay. So we haven't gone up to the center of the place. I love it. And, okay, so now we didn't know we had to find it. Is that the problem before? Found the second key fragment. And we've been through these places. So out through the courtyard and up. I'm still having a blast. I don't think this is too fetchy at all. I, I hope you guys are enjoying just kind of the vision. The It's bright, at least, after being in so many dark places. Crystal Grace, thank you. I can't help it, but I'm already over here. Let's get that Embryum. Ooh, discovered a secret study. All right. The long walk to Halam Sharal. Only 65 of our group made it to Halam Sharal. Some gave up. Some sickened, especially the little ones. Bandits stalked us. My mother, forgive me, I had to steal food. A child fought me for extra scraps of bread. A few days later, I carried her for miles after her legs gave out. She died shivering in my arms. Oh, man. I used to have a master, a mage. He fed me well, never beat me, even taught me how to read so I could do his accounts. But if he had a theory or a spell he wanted to test out, he'd get out his daggers, have the other servants tie me to a post, and carve furrows into my skin. I was so afraid. Every time I was sure I would die, but at worst I'd collapse, get bandaged up, and lie in bed too weak to move for days. The other slaves visited me in secret to survey the damage. I'd healed just enough before he needed blood again. That is why I traveled from Valdorma to the Dales with nothing but rags on my back. That is why there were 105 of us when we set out, all elven. That is why I fell to my knees and wept when we crossed through the gates of my new home, a village for my people. Anonymous account of the long walk, as told to Brother Picor of Ferelden, circa 148 Ancient. What am I missing here? There's another one. Maliphant's journals. Uh, Maliphant kept several journals. This one appears recently written. I don't know what we're doing anymore. Our hearts were pure when we started. I have to wonder if, we're lo if we've lost our way. The Templars are terrifying. When I speak to the Night Captain, I feel uneasy. There is something unsettling about his eyes and voice. They keep making offers. More shipments to guard. More men to be escorted to their keep. I just... No. No more grousing. I can't let my doubt show. Others take their cue from me. They must stay strong. It's just for a little while longer, then we'll get what we want. We'll be free. Always shades of gray. Everybody's just trying to do what they can. I feel like... What's... That's the bash. And we will remember to bash this time. Oh, what is that? What kind of nug is that? Is that a nug? The Exalted March of the Dales. The Chantry story of the Exalted March of the Dales paints the picture of the righteous faithful 
arrayed against heathen savages, but I have long studied the Dales, and I find the acceptable version of the tale to be a poor one, laden with over overt pro-chantry and pro-human biases. Thus it is my moral imperative to propose an alternative interpretation. That the exalted march of the Dales was nothing more than an expansionist ploy hiding behind the mask of faith. Oh, I'm I'm loving this one already. It is easy to see on any map how large the Dales are. More importantly, they stand between Orlais and the rest of the south, and would likely have represented a significant obstacle to the Empire's expansion into Ferelden. Naturally, we stood to benefit from propagating the narrative of a hostile, unreasoning people, attacking innocent missionaries and making blood sacrifices of good Andrastian babies. The likely truth is that the elves merely wish to maintain sovereignty over lands promised to them by Blessed Andraste herself, when the humans showed clear intent to undermine their autonomy. Of course, the elves reacted by becoming increasingly isolationist, which suited the empire perfectly. Here was a kingdom that spurned diplomatic overtures and that refused to lend aid during the Second Blight when the Darkspawn attacked Mont Samard. The Dalish kingdom could not be anything but a dormant threat, one that needed to be crushed before it awoke. Scholars point to the massacre at Red Crossing as the impetus for the Chantry's declaration of an exalted march on the Elven Kingdom in the Dales. They conveniently ignore the fact that no one alive truly knows what happened at Red Crossing or why the Elves attacked. The Chantry's response to the Elven aggression that resulted in the slaughter of hundreds was predictable, but in light of my thesis, perhaps we should re-examine the events of Red Crossing and wonder if the attack was truly unprovoked, or whether it is possible that someone saw benefit in sacrificing an entire village to justify the subjugation of an entire people. From a new perspective on the Exalted March, a pamphlet by an anonymous author published by the University of Orlais in Ninth Age Twelve Dragon. Yep. To the, uh, the victors, you know, writing the stories here. Propaganda. Find a way to reassemble the ruined key. Ruined key? Ruined key. Ruined engraved key required? Hmm. A letter to Maliphant. Maliphant, I'm sending men to discuss some changes. It's nothing dire. You'll find the demands perfectly reasonable. We're willing to compensate you for any inconvenience. I want our relationship to be mutually beneficial. It's been going so well, each of us with our crusades. See. That's the uh, the Red Templar commander, is it not? Right. Oh, look at this too, before we go past it. What kind of crazy, amazing artwork are we looking at here? Oh my god. What's it all? I can't even... I get lost on the, the lore for like, is this new stuff? Is this old stuff? What are we representing here? We have Andraste's Sacrifice, Cooldown Modifier, Fade Touched Lustrous Cotton, which is brilliant. Okay, who's up? Oh, wait, what is she wearing? She's looking sharp. Oh, it's just the green kind of going off the gold. Hell yeah. Red oh, They must shit. have been smuggling it for the Templars. Not anymore. Not anymore indeed. Okay. This place looks crazy. Maliphant's journals. Maliphant kept several journals. This one details the founding of the Freemen of the Dales. August. I'm just going to say August, I think. Augusti. August. August. There's a bunch of ways I'm just not sure. But I'll just say August. And I have established outposts in the Emerald Graves. We are spreading the word to both armies. I'm sick of good Orlesian men and women dying for someone else's cause. It ends now. Orlais should belong to us, the people who defend her borders, who till her fields. If we're able if we're to fight and kill for something let it be that several pages later templars approached us they are not the order i knew but they have offered weapons and gold if we help bring their supplies through the emerald graves if we are to free the dales from the grasp of the nobility we need what they have to offer it's a deal with the demon but our cause is worthwhile but it's still a deal with the demon oh is this our hold on there's our second uh, mosaic. Well, this is beautiful stuff. All hiding out in here. This thing was the rune um, from what is it? Uh, Mark of the Assassin. 
An official appraisal. A note addressed to the villa's former owner lies next to an unusual device. Lord Morel, or Morel. I posed a few questions to my contacts in the White Spire. Discreetly, of course, lest they want the piece for themselves. From what I can gather, the device, rustically dubbed a Lyrium Emperland, is meant to restore broken runes. They are not widely used. Some suggest that if the rune were affixed to an object, the device could restore the item itself, although I was unable to confirm the truth of this. This is purely academic as it requires a mage to function. It is nevertheless a rare piece prized among the collectors of curiosities. I trust you are pleased with the purchase. Sincerely, Emile Fabre, collector and purveyor of unique ephemerae. Or ephemera? as it were. There it is. Oh, there we go. Energize it, fool. Take it. We we have a use for this key. Okay, Why now what? Why have so many things if you never see them? Maybe. What'd we get? What was all this about? A heater shield and a belt of spirit resistance. Oh, well, I feel good. Let's go home. Discovered vault. Card of Fang. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on, loot. Okay, I'm still... Gotta be here, right? I was going to say, give me something amazing, and it looks like they did superior battle mage armor. Which, I, Blade of the Champion is a rare sword. Uh, enhanced Life Word Amulet. Corrupting Rune, so we can put that in somewhere. Which is Corrupting Goes versus Living, huh? And sig Sigil of the Chevalier. We've done that, we've seen that one before. We have one of them, I think. Well, well, well. Well, I think this place is played out. Where are we at? We gotta, yeah, we have to leave. That's it. We just have to go out the, the damn front door, huh? Personal storeroom? Yeah, I think we're out of here. And I don't, we can't fast travel from here, can we? Or can we? Um, do 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 because where are we at? We're up we're up in this pool. But I would like to come back here and talk to our uh friend and let him know we killed some people. Right on. Anything new to say, Fairbanks? Inquisitor. Um no, I think don't think so. Goodbye. I need to be going. I'll be here. I don't know if we need to be, but we will. Let's check our journal real quick. So, what I was looking for was Emerald Graves, um, Noble Deeds, Noble Heart. We got a diluted Chevalier. We have to go find some guy. We have Fade Rifts to close, more camps. Um, there's some treasure somewhere. This is Investigate the Fall and Light a Candle. So, there's a few different things going on here. So, if this... He doesn't have anything new to say to us at the exact moment. Um, feel like come through here. There's little things we went running through here. I want to hop onto this one. Dire Stone Camp. Let's go get some work done in this spot. Hell yeah. So I don't know if we have or not. Let's rest. It's also, let's see here, who do we have? I want to switch up our crew. Um, no, I don't. I don't care. We're sticking with him for a minute. I'll switch him up next time. I want to mark on our map. We got this. We also have this rift up here. Whatever we run into first is what we take care of. Look at this artwork. If that isn't going off on us yet, we'll run over here. You know what? Screw it. Let's close this rift.
Right? Right. Um, I'll do on me. Or, oh, I, I forgot. I was trying to do a little bit of each. There we go. See if they'll keep them busy. One down. One down indeed. Let's get that one gone. Anything big and nasty coming after us? You are too pretty. Just take a potion. Oh, come on. Who's that one? That guy doesn't just hit me in the middle of it. There's one dude that was just trying to send it after me. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. Come on. Um, this one? Or was it? Nope, it was popping around behind me. Enough time, I think so. Got it. Yay. Easy. Take it, take it, take it. Now let's go get this thing. Enhanced a static cage ring. Static cage is probably a good one, isn't it? It sounds like um our old favorite cage. Alright. Where we'd give the treatment. Well, let's go get this over here, though. Is this the Astrarium? I love Astrariums. Please, come on. Dire Stone. There's another... Is that another chateau over there? That Or villa? Okay, how complicated is this going to look? Let's see. Uh, it's going to take some work, but uh, let me give it a minute here and I'll be right back to you. Oh my god, I got it. I don't even know. I don't. Is there a purpose? I just went with what I thought it was, so it took me a couple tries. But uh, Constellation Solium. There are two common interpretations regarding the history behind the constellation Solium, commonly referred to as the Sun. The first is that it represents the fascination of early peoples, such as the Neromenians, predecessors to the ancient Tevinter Imperium, with all objects in the sky, the Sun and Moon in particular. Indeed, many believe proper depiction of Solium is as both. The second interpretation is that this constellation originally represented Elgarnan, the head of the elven pantheon, pantheon, who was also known as Eldest of the Sun. Modern scholars do not know which, if either, is true. From a study of Thedosian astronomy by Sister Iran Petrarchius. Well, we, we nailed that. Where are these other two? Are they not marking? Or they are? There they are. One there and one... Oh, wait. We didn't see that one before. Is it inside the place? I don't know. That's cool, though. Um, What do we have else going on up here? Seeing red before the dawn. How do we get to investigate this fatal ball? We're going to have to go... There's the bridge, I think. Ooh, that's fun. Um, oh, can we light a candle at the shrine? Can we not do that? Because I think I see a bridge and us going to have to back up. Um, is this the shrine here? Let's go. I'm not even worried about it, guys. Because I think we have to go to the war table and we have to get cleaned up. Are these people who want to fight? Oh, yeah, you want it? Oh, let's do this. Nope. And... Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's finish him. I was not messing around with him. These guys look nasty. Intense red lyrium. Placing a candle here for him. Let's see. Quest completed. Devotion. We did it. Now, it's like remembering who we did that for and do we go back? No, we just found a note, didn't we? Now, what the hell is this place? The Lion's Pavilion. The Lion's Pavilion is a welcome rest for weary travelers through the Dales. It is most prominent... Its most prominent feature is a statue of a muscled Valmont Emperor slaying a dragon, the symbol of the Dracon dynasty. The Valmont's fame, subtlety, and grace clearly emerged with later generations, from In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Chantry Scholar by Brother Jenna TV. Beautiful. What do we do here? We gotta light this thing? Oh, take something? Uh, a lover's promise, Elena. If you found this and are still at the pavilion, leave immediately. As I passed, I saw a band of armed men close by. I fear they may attack innocent travelers. Meet me instead in the old grove in Gracevine, where the prophet's laurel grows. Thank you, Dayan. Dayan? Dayan. Oh, there's so much little fun stuff here. Where are we supposed to go? I just want to... I don't want to be missing anything. But we have to, like, backtrack and keep expanding out our little bubble here. Why don't we light all these? And stay lit. Does... Is there a bonus? Like, why would we ever light these? Some s secret hidden function? Oh, you can... They keep going out, too. I'm just noticing. Okay, so... We have... Is this our camp up here? That is our camp right there. We have another camp over here, along with a lover's promise. Mm hmm. -hmm. We got to try to figure out how to get back around to these. Maybe we are in the right spot. That's a good spot. So what I want to do is hit our quest map and head on back over here to Skyhold. All right. I want to get cleaned up a little bit, get some more missions uh, set up on the table, maybe sell a few things, but I think we're doing pretty good on weight, and then head back out, and we're going to do it all in the next episode.